let's start. My last trick, which was so lovely and fun, was more than two years ago. I advise you to view my Cholol Patrick video if you haven't already done so. Now let's concentrate on this one. After that trick, COVID occurred and many things, including internal travel, were restricted. Therefore, the COVID restriction was the only real course of action. And at last, after a long wait, I'm back on the road, this time on a crazy adventure. I'm traveling to climb the tallest mountain in the world. Just kidding. Even though I won't be reaching the summit of Mount Everest, I'll undoubtedly visit Everest Base Camp. Trivon International Airport was the starting point of our first day at Everest Base Camp. From Kathmandu, we flew for 35 minutes in the early morning to Lukla, which serves as the entrance to Mount Everest. Due to the heavy weather, we were unsure when our aircraft would take off. Thankfully, our flight was on time. At Lukla, we had a rest and ate breakfast before beginning our trip. Today, we are traveling to Monjo. Being our first stop for today, we'll be having our lunch and then continue our journey of day one. Okay, so, 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 We'll stay here tonight and tomorrow we'll head towards Namche. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of my Everest Base Camp trick. If you like the video and want to see more of the content, then please do subscribe the channel, like the video and put down your comments on the comment section. So let's start with the tips and tricks for the Everest Base Camp trick. The first thing to start um, or to do for the Everest Base Camp trick is to get your tickets. So the only route 
way into the Everest Base Camp is the Lugla Airport at the moment. So you need to get your air ticket confirmed. Though you have bought it, the tickets, but you need to be in constant communications with the salesperson from the representatives of the airlines because you never know when your air timing would be shifted. So you need to be in constant communications with them and confirm that your ticket has been confirmed for the mentioned date and time. And you always need to be prepared for the weather conditions to fly into Lukla because um, the weather is constantly changing there, which makes it difficult for the airlines to fly into Lukla. So some of the time you might be delayed for over an hour or your flight might be cancelled for that day. So you need to be prepared for the any consequences um, in your flight. The other thing to consider is pack minimal. Just less packing. Um, as for my personal experience, I only packed few of my trekking clothes. You know, I had two uh, trousers, uh, around three or four t-shirts, um, one wind cheater, uh, one down jacket, one cap, uh, scarves or buffs, whatever you'd like to carry on. Uh, have hot water bottle, carry that because when you uh, go up higher, the weather is very cold there. So that makes the water obviously very cold. So if you have the hot water bottle, that will keep your water warm and um, it will be easy. Um, the next thing to remember is carry all the medicines that you require. If you are into any, any medications, do carry the sufficient amount of that medications and do carry other medications as well, like um, paracetamol or a band-aid or um, medications for altitude sickness that is most important. Um, and do not forget to carry your essentials, belongings, um, carry sufficient tissues or toilet papers that will come in handy, trust me. Carry some snacks to munch in during your treks. Um, you know, we carried lots of sneaker bars, uh, bounties, uh, we carried um, lots of chocolates, um, snacks that uh, we could munch in during our trek. That would be also very handy while you're trekking. Um, and as a budget traveler, that would be very budget friendly as well, because you know, up in the mountains, the price range for the foods are a little bit on the expensive side. So if you have some snacks with, with yourselves, that would be very handy and very useful for you um, if you are a budget traveler like me. Oh, I forgot to mention gloves. Do carry your gloves because when your hand gets frizzed, it's very difficult to continue your journey. So carry your sunscreen. If you like being tanned, that's okay. But if you do not like being tanned, then do carry your sunscreen and apply it frequently while you're trekking.